What is good you guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at how to overclock your monitor using NVIDIA's control panel uh, overclocking software. Now um, the video I did release a long time ago to overclock your monitor was long before they started uh, incorporating these into their driver um, control panel software um, suites that NVIDIA and both AMD now offer. So we're going to do an upgraded version um, on how to overclock your monitor without having to use any of that third party software and uh, there will be one coming out for AMD in the future so keep an eye out for that but for now this is for Nvidia so the first thing you're gonna want to go ahead and do um, I think I am currently running at 60 Hertz right now so um, we'll go ahead and bring up my display settings um, to, to verify that I'm not sure it might be set to 95 I'm hoping uh, everything got reset to, to okay it's at 60 well 59 whatever um, is what it's going right now so it's completely bare bones and stock um, so the first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and right click and bring open up our uh, control panel and uh, you're going to want to find your way into the display tab right here and change resolution and right here is where you're going to be doing all your fancy stuff so I found out that if you click on any of these the customize button goes away and you can no longer customize um, until you hit apply then hit yes and uh, then it'll pop back up after being refreshed um, then you can click it, but if you click on any of these again, it'll immediately disappear, uh, blank its gray itself out to where you can't click on it. Um, as well as click over here, you see that we have 60 hertz and that is it. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is hit customize. And right here, enable resolutions not exposed by this obviously is what you want as well. Um, and then create resolution, your custom resolution right here. So this is how simple this is. Right here is 60. We're going to go ahead and do 95 because that's what I've always done and it works. I'd leave everything else the same. You don't want to touch anything here unless you know what you're doing. Um, your timings and all that stuff. 25, 60, 14, 40. Check your resolution. Make sure it's right. And then hit test. So the screen will go black. Hopefully it's still recording. And yes, we want that. And we're waiting for it to go black again. And as you can see, it is right here. So I'm going to highlight it and then click OK. So now we can see it right here. 95 hertz. There it is, 95, hit apply, bam, um, yes, I want to keep this. So now that we're at 95 hertz, um, we'll go ahead and uh, check our Windows things. So I do know that Windows um, in here likes to conflict with uh, NVIDIA's control panels when it comes to a lot of things, not, not only just... Um, uh, refresh rate but as you can see here it automatically changed it we're at 95 Hertz we're good to go um, so let's go ahead and uh, start up a game real quick we'll do Left 4 Dead 2 since I already have an in-game counter and sometimes Steam's uh, overlay uh, FPS counter doesn't always show up on recordings um, so I like to use this one alrighty so we can go ahead right here we'll go to single player campaign start the game so it dropped to 60 Oh no, loading screens. So it's over, it's 91, 95. If you can see the Steam overlay, if you can't see the Steam overlay, um, then we'll be seeing it on the net graph on the bottom when the game starts. And as you can see there, it's 94, 95, which is exactly what we wanted it to be. Um, it's as smooth as using the third party software that I'd used before, honestly. I prefer doing it this way because it's not any extra stuff that I'm running. I just literally do it out of the control panel. And, uh, like I said, there will be updates in the future, um, for Nvidia I'll, or uh, AMD. I will release that one on how to do it. But that's literally overclocking your monitor in about 30 seconds or so, 45 seconds. Depends, um, how long it takes you to hit your max or what you feel comfortable running your monitor at. Now, keep in mind, not all monitors will work at higher, um, resolutions. I will also say that, um, using Nvidia's, I haven't been able to get my monitor to go over 95. It refuses to even, um, recognize going over 95. And I'm not sure why, because I've had it up to 115 before. Um, back when I was using the third party software. I'm not sure if that's something you guys want to know, but I will say if you have a 60 hertz monitor, I think 95 is uh, definitely a huge step up for you and uh, something that, you know what I mean, you're not going to complain about that you can't get to 100 versus 95, you won't notice. So that's uh, as simple as that. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from the video. Keep an eye out for the AMD if you were an AMD card user. Hopefully I'll come out with that in the next few days. Anyways, you guys, this is Steven with All Talk On, and I will catch you guys later.